hello guys this is the continuation of the previous session uh, in the previous sessions we have discussed about the first round of the interview of dream orbit and today we are going to discuss about the second round if you have not watched the previous video i will suggest go and check it out i will mention the link in the descriptions if you have not checked or not watched already so let's continue to this session so in this sessions uh, we will discuss about the second round as we have already discussed the first technical discussions and today we will discuss second technical discussions so the topics are almost similar uh, the questions are from the c sharp web api entity framework .NET core asp.net mvc sql and design patterns so uh, the first questions let's uh, start the first topic like a c sharp like uh, the first question was have you uh, used a uh, static constructor before uh, this is the questions about the static constructor like uh, what is the situation you you have to use the static constructor and what is the benefit of using all that the second question is uh, like a value type and reference type or do you familiar with the value type and reference type and what is the difference between both of them the next is the uh, object generations uh, which uh, this question was uh, important questions like uh, this was asked in the first round as well what is the object generations uh, how the object exactly are being transferred from one version to another version and how the garbage collection are do the priority of the objects and which objects we have to uh, like uh, I, i mean garbage collection decides which objects they have to destroy so how destructors uh, work finally uh, so that the things comes around this one the next one is static versus constant what is the static what is the constant and what is the use case we have to show the uh, with the examples let's jump to the next slide uh, it is related to dot net core uh, the famous questions what is the dependency injections and how actually we are implementing it the three types of dependency uh, how what is those how we are uh, actually uh, configuring the lifetime of that one what is the use case of add scope with the example what is the use of uh, use case of add singleton with the example so this was the questions related to dot net core now let's jump to the sql part <coughs> so uh, in the this round uh, they have basically uh, they have given too much focus on sql things so like uh, the questions are uh, your in on your screen like what is the magic tables what is trigger why we generally use the trigger if we are using the trigger then what is the drawback so all that things how will you improve uh, stored processes performance basically how generally you are optimizing the stored processes in fact this question was uh, uh, asked in the previous uh, uh, round as well what is the drawback of indexer why we generally use the indexer and if we are using extensively then what is the drawback and uh, the next one is uh, like a query we have to write a query uh, before writing the query they have given the situations like there are two tables uh, one table was a uh, order table and an another is customer table i will show you the uh, excel sheet they have mentioned clearly there is a customer table and there is a order table so the question was like uh, write a query to find the list of the customer who have not booked any order till now so basically there are two uh, tables one is the order table the another is the customer table there is a relation between both of them and uh, we have to find the list of customers who have not booked any order till now let 
let us go with the example like uh, you can see uh, here is a customer table id c1 c2 c3 and c4 and uh, in corresponding there is a order table uh, each customer's id having some transactions like 100 rupees 1110 i mean 105 something like that and there is a order id as well so we have to find the customers who have not done any transactions so you can say here is a tcs uh, id is a c4 customer id c4 have not done any transactions have not ordered some things so this is the final result we have to find out with the help of we have to write the query the second query is uh, find each customer and the year minimum order prices so basically we have to do a group by like we have to find uh, each customer along with their main a minimum order like how much order they have made so this is the basically two queries they have asked and this is the excel sheet they have shown and based on that we have to write the query so it was a quick session so and uh, that was nice one so thanks for the watching and please support the channel by like and subscribe if you have not uh, done already and if you have any doubt or suggestions please comment down below thank you